News Force got wind of a situation brewing at the National Housing Corporation, NHC. Our investigations led us to the Department of Labor, where we stumbled upon Senior Industrial Officer Lawrence Poyot. This is what he had to say. That's a, a matter involving an employee, um, uh, which we are trying to resolve from since last year. The senior NWU official did not go into detail about the long-standing matter with the NHC employee. News Force then made attempts to confirm whether a letter was sent to the National Workers' Union following the reported leak of the missive on the fate of employees at the NHC. The leaked document reportedly outlines plans for layoffs and paints a bleak financial picture of the housing authority. We are in receipt of a letter. We are not in a position to comment on the letter at this stage. However, we have written to the company requesting a meeting to discuss the contents. The cash-strapped entity had only recently welcomed a new chairman in the person of Rufinus Baptist, following the departure of former NHC chairman Timothy Mangal. One of the newest partnerships forged by the NHC is with Fresh Start Construction Limited for the development of the Shocklands and Housing Project. News Force encounter with the senior trade unionist was brief. Attempts were also made to speak to staff at the NHC. However, the employees remain tight-lipped. Outside the Department of Labor, Sulaj Alfred, HDS News Force.